Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Football Manager experiment where today is a bit of a different one. Uh, we're looking at what would happen if Elon Musk took on Jeff Bezos in football. Uh, they took over two clubs in the Football League in England uh, and decided to see who could just best each other with all that money they have. So <laughs> Jeff Bezos has it created his own team, Amazon Prime FC, um, a club starting in the Vanarama National League South. Uh, and I'm sure we'll be looking to get all the way to the Premier League. They've got all the fantastic facilities. He's made this club from scratch in the Amazon Arena in London, 200,000 capacity. Yeah, what a what a team. Um, and then also Tesla Motors FC for Elon Musk. Uh, again, Tesla Stadium, 200,000 capacity. They basically got the same stuff. But I thought it would just be interesting to see kind of how things go. Uh, the value of two billion i think um and then you've also got was that one billion bank balance I'd, i have no idea numbers confuse me but um a little bit less for amazon prime for some reason i don't know why it started the same um but rivalry with tesla motors of course which is historic because they want to be the richest club in the world money 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 um let's take a look at the season preview though uh, and they are predict predicted to come first and second not surprising really they don't have any players at the moment so that might hinder them um but yeah that's what they're predicted to come first and second in the league purely because of the money i expect uh, i don't think there's really much else to it um but what we'll do is we'll jump a few seasons or a season each time or, or whatever we'll see i'll see what happens and i'll kind of update you um but yeah, it's it'll just be interesting to see uh, how everything goes, really. Um, yeah, they don't have officially... Um, obviously, Elon and Jeff Bezos don't actually do anything at the club. They just pump money into it and enjoy it. So they're not going to be in the game, obviously. That's totally purposeful um this is a save that I found on steam so i'll make sure to link that in the comments uh not in the comments in the description below but let's jump ahead and and see what goes on okay so we've actually jumped two years on uh just to get an idea as to kind of what's gone on and, and kind of speed the process up a little bit but wow um look at this team for amazon prime fc they've currently just won the vanarama national league and um, we can see tesla motors came second on 122 points, but actually lost in the playoffs to Notts County, which I'm sure they'd be absolutely fuming about. Um, and we can already see a couple of players in here that not quite the players that you'd expect. Um, Ronald Koeman is currently manager of Amazon Prime FC. Uh, you've got Nathan Ake as captain. Ruben Loftus-Cheek as vice captain. You've got Jeffrey Schlupp in there. You've got Fred Pereira. Uh, Rob Holding as well. I mean, this is is kind of crazy. Um, let's take a look. First season, they spent £81 million bringing in Cedric, Issa Diop, Fred, Jeffrey Slop, Isco from Real Madrid, uh, Masuaku, Laurie, Laurie's Carius, Andrus Towns. I mean, they just went mental with the money they had. Uh, and then season just gone as well. They brought in the likes of Umar Sadiq, Rob Holding, Andreas Pereira. So... They're spending money, um, as we'd probably expect. They won the National League South as well, by the looks of it, um, the season prior. If we take a quick look at the league table, we could probably jump back one. And yeah, it looks like it was a case that Amazon Prime won the league and Tesla Motors came second. Uh, I mean, smashing the division. Amazon Prime didn't actually lose a single game. Tesla lost to Amazon Prime and Hemel Hempstead. So there you go. Um, interesting interesting one there uh let's take a look at amazon uh tesla motors sorry and see what they've got so nuno espirito santo is actually their manager they've got alex mccarthy as captain dylan barnes as vice donny van der beek is their key player i mean 
that's not a bad signing, is it? They got Sam McQueen in there, Fredericks as well, uh, Simicas along with that. Let's take a look at those transfers. What's what's gone down? I mean, we saw Deli Ali there as well. Um, who are the biggest transfers? Joe Rodon coming in, Simicas, Pablo Mari, Matt Doherty, Aose Perez. I mean, all these players are basically selling themselves out because they're coming all the way down to the National League South. And they're all players that should be playing at a higher level. Charlie Musonda, Lewis Baker. See, these are more of the signs I was expecting, I'll be honest. Um, some players that aren't quite making it into the first team, but should certainly be in top level. Uh, Deli Alley, though. Mitchy Bashwai, Van Der Beek, Lascelles, Musaccio, Billing and Klein all coming in this season. £72 million spent. I mean, they aren't afraid of spending money and you can see why. So it'll be interesting. It's kind of a chase now. Um, with Tesla Motors not getting promoted in this season, uh, we've got a, an interesting situation, certainly. Um, if we jump ahead, we can see they lost 2-1 in the final. Um, what were the team they playing? Deli Alley up top, McQueen on the right, Van Der Beek in there, as well as Rodon, Doty, Simica. So, I mean, they, I mean it, it was a tight game for one where these players are so much better um but yeah i mean they only lost two games all season against dangan and ridgeways and amazon prime themselves beat tesla mode to beat and amazon prime were beaten by tesla mode and filed so they've got a slip up in them um but amazon prime have now been promoted to the football league so they're in league two and tesla motors are second uh meaning they didn't get through in the playoffs and they are still in the vanarama national league so let's jump ahead and see if they manage to catch up we're two more years on, um, and we can see here that Amazon Prime FC have made it to the championship. I can't see Tesla Motors in here, so I expect they're probably in the league below, uh, just still trying to catch up. Um, but 121 points, won the league very, very easily there. Uh, you can see that for sure. Um, looking at the side already, more players are being brought in, as you'd probably expect. Uh, one league two, one league one. They've won everything so far. And I mean, the money they spent, probably expected. Uh, if we just jump back, we've seen, obviously, that one. But we've got the likes. Oh, my days. £158 million spent. Rabio, Madison, Undombele, Stevanovic, Ihinacho, Sessignon, Lindelof, Ailing, Minamino, and Kerr Smith all coming in. Wow, they are. That's a lot of money being spent. They brought in twenty nine million pounds. Andros Townsend going out on loan. Oliver Burke, Sadiq as well. Cameron John, Schlupp, Cedric, and Ake all going out as well. Schlupp on out on loan. Uh, and then last this well this season, eighty million pounds spent uh, on the likes of Amity Lafont was the main man there, as well as Todd Cantwell. But they also brought in Ethan Ampadu and a couple of players on loan. Dennis Pryat being one of them, um, and a few few sales in there as well 37 million but again still nowhere near the amount um that they're actually bringing in uh that is that's crazy um the trajectory is ridiculous and is to be honest not that surprising let's take a look uh, at the league below which i expect is tesla motors yep so they did get promoted the season after um into league two and they've also got that promotion straight away into league one very very comfortably losing a few more games though so they are slowly but surely getting to a point where they might have to get clever rather than just sm splashing the cash um but wait was that a that was a papa john's league trophy wow okay and they won the fa trophy three times so all three times they were in the non-league they won the fa trophy um maybe that's why they they wanted to hang around down there not not anything to do with them just not winning the playoffs um but the vanarama national league pepper john's league two and now league one they've got a couple more trophies um than amazon but amazon have obviously risen up the ranks a little bit quicker so that depends on how you view things let's take a look at the history though if we just jump back slightly, we can see uh, £87 million spent, £21 million on Pepe, Kovacic coming in as well for 16 Tenganga, Luke Celso, Walker Peters, uh, and then a few more, Bertrand Trial already in there, Grady Diangana uh, as well. And then Jesse Lingard being sold to Southampton, Joe Rodon going, Milivojevic, uh, Fredericks. So they are shifting players and bringing players in. Um, but still, again, not as much as what they're buying. Lewis Gibson, Jedvaj, Kutron and Cater all coming in for a 
around 11 million isn't too much to be fair um and the sales of 2.9 million just show they're not quite spending as much but maybe that's because they've just had a little bit of an extra year to to kind of go up and they don't necessarily need to uh i'm not entirely sure but we'll jump again see if they can continue this rise um and who will end up with the most trophies because it'll be interesting to see Okay, so we've jumped five years on this time just to see a little bit further on into the future. We're in 2030, so we're around nine years on from when we initially started the save. Uh, Zinedine Zidane is now the Amazon Prime FC manager. They were predicted to come eighth in the division. They are in the Premier League, as we would probably expected, really. Um, Tesla Motors also in there. And actually, they got the Europa League, so... They've definitely overtaken them, uh, at least by one notch, that's for sure. They haven't won the Premier League or anything, though, just yet. Um, but yeah, Amazon Prime in 10th. That's who we're looking at just this second. Uh, we can see they did win the championship, so they won everything on the way up. Uh, and in the last few years, they've come 14th, 13th, 11th, 10th now. Um, and they'll certainly be trying to continue that growth there for sure. Sobers lies in the team um ramos paulinho dennis mann as well frank kessie uh are also in there so there's some some big names that they've obviously brought in over their time uh let's jump a few years back and see what we've got then 119 million pounds uh on a good chunk of players there you can see all these players here so i won't read them all out but some of the big names mukiele is in there sergio gomez as well kangin lee uh, a bit of a wonder kid in there as well um moving on again 363 million pounds this time this must be the is this the promotion to the Premier League, the season that they're in the Prem? Um, because they've gone crazy with the money. Rafael Varane was brought in. Uh, Szczesny as well. Paulinho, Kessi, Ramos, Asuncao uh, as well as a few outgoings, 58 million. But that is not 363 million's worth of players, is it, that they've sold? Um 26 million pound Conor Gallagher came in the season after with Valverde coming in as well for 42 million uh, and again 107 million this is the first time I think we've seen them make a profit uh, on the players in a season uh, then the season after 68 million was spent um, most of it going on Baton de Ballo, um Hungarian centre-back who looks pretty decent um but a lot of money being spent. Uh, and then the next one was 118 million, 64 million spent on Sobersly uh, and 49 on Curtis Jones, uh, who was at Wolves at the time. Uh, and obviously 56 million being brought in the biggest name going, Sergio Gomez and Ondon Bele. Um, wow. Okay. So they're in the Premier League now. They've made it. What can they do in the Premier League? Can they last there? Will they manage to rise up the ranks and become a top, top dog? Or is it mediocrity for Amazon Prime? Tesla Motors, though, a little bit different. And we can certainly see that the longer time... It might have taken them longer to get there by a season, but they've certainly done just as well, if not actually better. Um, you can see the initial promotion. They then got 10th, then 9th last season. This season, they've got 8th. So they are still improving one season after another. But they've also won a bunch more trophies. So they did the same thing with winning every trophy as they rose up the ranks, other than Vanarama National League South, of course, because Amazon Prime won that when they were both in the division. But they won three English FA Cup trophies, as we know, a Papa John's trophy, as we know. But they've also won the Carabao Cup, which got them into the Europa Conference League, which they won. Uh, and they also won the FA Cup, meaning that they're in the Europa League this season. So that's very impressive. Uh, they've got a very interesting team. It looks like a much younger team. They've got Clara, they've got Henderson, they've got Soleil. Uh, they've also got Nico and Kozlowski in midfield, which is a very nice partnership. Shaw Tyre, Trincao and Maldonado, um, who's an Argentinian, what looks like a wonder kid. What a player that looks like. He will be joining Roma, but wow, um, a very, very tidy player and certainly someone who probably helped them get to that title. Let's take a look at the transfers, though. We'll jump quickly back a little bit. 
and C. So £98 million pounds was spent. Lenormand, Boga, Romo coming in there. Dean Henderson, of course, as well. Um, some outgoings of Tanganga and Tyreek Mitchell. Uh, season after, £90 million spent this time. Uh, big names, Wilfred Singo, Malang Saar from Barcelona. Same with Nico as well. Uh, and a few outgoings for 20-odd million. £347 million pounds followed. Wow, uh, they they seem to. Uh, it must be the Premier League that they get into, and they're like, "We got to splash this cash." As they've brought in Solis for forty million from Almeria, Jose Alberto for forty million from Barcelona, Shola Shortire for thirty three, rising to forty million from United, Demarco McGill and Doy Ibrahima Diallo for thirty million, Umar Saleh uh, from Fulham <laughs> with a player exchange, uh, Jeremy Parker going. Uh, the other way. Alex Twanzebi. I mean, Jonathan Maldonado came in for 5.5 million and they're selling him for 40, I think. So, I mean, they're making money on that one. Um, 194 million spent as well this season after. Fabrota, Florentino, Luis, Kozlowski all coming in. Trincao as well as Willy Camboala. So, I mean, I think Tesla Motors have definitely done the better business uh, and it probably shows in how they've performed with trophy wise. Christoph Clara, most recent big money signing coming in um, with a bunch of players going out on freeze as well as to be fair, they have brought in 94 million pounds worth of players uh, sales with the likes of Camboala leaving to and Malang Saar, a bunch of center backs. So very, very interesting uh, that, it's taken out a little bit longer. They've got Pep Guardiola in the side, so I'm sure he's not going to want to be hanging around in mid-table for too long. So it'll be interesting to see if they do manage to rise up those ranks. But we will jump ahead one more time, see if they do manage to finally get any higher um, and what that looks like. So we'll jump ahead right now. And here we are. And wow. Okay, so five years on and Amazon Prime have won the league. I was praising Tesla Motors for how well they did um, throughout the time. But Amazon Prime are the first ones to win the league uh, in the 2034-35 season. Um, not bad at all, is it? He, they won it by one point over Man City. Tesla Motors didn't actually get European places at all, which is a bit of a shame for them. Um, but let's take a look at the champions. How have they got on in the time being as well? So they won the Carabao Cup. Uh, but that looks like that might be the only trophy they won outside of the lower leagues. Um, Junior Nagelsmann is their manager currently. Um, but yeah, I think it looks like it's the Premier League and Carabao Cup are the only ones other than those that they won as they were getting promoted. Interesting to see. Would you take a Premier League over winning trophies all the way through? Um, and other trophies because I mean there's not many there there's that's the seven trophies in the whole time uh, and it's been 15 years so we'll have to compare that with um, Tesla and see how they got on but um, we can see they hit 10th then 4th 7th and then 4th again before winning the league so they were getting into the Champions League um, they've certainly increased those players but look at that I mean, that's a variety of different players. You've got Federico Valverde in there. Reese James is another player in there that's um, playing for them. Harwood Bellis as well. Gvardiol, uh, who will be leaving to join Real Madrid. So it just shows how good he is. But transfers, let's take a quick look. Jumping back a little bit, let's see what kind of money they made here. So... £283 million pounds they spent. £83 million of that going on. Axel Macaroni. I mean, what a name just to start with. His name's Macaroni. Star player worth the £83 million. Pounds. Um, then £92 million pounds spent. Benjamin Sesko being the main one coming in. He's moved on to Everton now. Um, but certainly an impressive player. Edmund Tapsoba as well. A uh, centre-back for Roma. Um, we, they also brought in 344 million pounds the next season. So they were certainly pushing for it. Gavardio coming in, Carlos Eduardo, Renan, uh, Conciao and Henrique coming in there. 370 million. This is crazy money. 122 million on Miguel Garcia for Barcelona. I mean, he's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> what a centre midfielder that is. 10 goals and 32 appearances for Spain as well. Not too shabby at all. Uh, £195 million pounds spent uh, in 2034-35, the most recent season, with £61 million pounds of that going on Ramon Lawrence. Bringing in £120 million. I mean, they are selling players. 
they're just spending more than they're selling because uh, they've had a couple of seasons where there's a couple of hundred. I mean, they made 204 million in this one, 50 million of, for Araujo. Bino Gittins going for 36 below. I mean, Wolves have bought a bunch of players from them. Uh, same with Charlton, loaning in a few. Uh, have they got an affiliate with them? I mean, it would make sense. Yeah, they do. They have an affiliate with Charlton. There you go. Maybe they bought them out because <laughs> they've got the money too. Um, but yeah, wow. Okay, there you go. He, It's quite the performance. Uh, let's take a look at their manager history, actually. So we saw that Kuman was there. Uh, he got sacked. Um, then Zidane was brought in for six years. He left his role. Uh, and then Julian Nagelsmann won the league and won a cup. I mean, obviously, um, Ronald Koeman got them promoted all the way up to the kind of Premier League. But you're not really a league winner unless you win the Premier League. And he also won the Matt Carabao Cup. So there you go. Um, but let's take a look at this time, Tesla. So they haven't done quite as well. It doesn't actually look like they've won anything since the time we last saw them. Um, what have we got here? So they were 14th, 2nd, 9th, 7th. So they actually did almost finish top of the table. Um in 2031-32, the season after, uh, getting Champions League football. I mean, I say they almost finished top of the table. They weren't anywhere near it. Man City ran away with the title, but they didn't do too badly, all things considered. Um, so, really, not too bad of a result. Any names we recognise? Braithwaite's in there, Jared Braithwaite. Uh, Nico Kozlowski's also, they're both in there. Shola Shortire, who will be leaving to join Atletico Madrid. Uh, Mike App Gareth. What a name. I love it when Welsh names do that. Mike App Gareth. It's just so cool. Um, but otherwise, not much else in there. Transfer history, though. Jumping back a couple of years just to see what we've got. So, uh, Otto Sawi was brought in. Gary, 184 million was spent. Um, Dela Cruz being 27 million. Another one in there. That's a lot of money has been spent on, but 195 million was brought in. So they made money that season. Uh, 30 million going for Maldonado, as we saw a very, very good player. Um, 275 million pounds spent this year, 51 million of that going to Casaras, uh, and then Signorelli. I mean, these look like players. Yeah. They're the younger players, so they were looking to go a bit of a more long term with their decision making. Um, 240 million pounds brought in though. Owen Osawi just seems like he just came and went within a season. Uh, looks like it was a profit though. 182 million pounds spent as well in the following season. Jeremy Frimpon coming in. Darwin Nunes, Braithwaite, Wrench, Geordie, Noosa all coming in. Uh, and then 75 million pounds have been bought out with Christos Solis being the main one there 195 million pounds spent Hovrath coming in for 82 of that a loss of money uh and then also finally the last year that we've seen them 189 million and it was Anderson Arango being the main valued player um actually he wasn't um it was Golbiu Gorkum Golbiu who's a goalkeeper Gorkum the goalkeeper there you go could be a little book um but with that let me so marcelino is the manager yeah let's take a look at their managers as well um they've had a few more uh nuno esperito resigned after what getting them to the premier league i think and winning a bunch of cups on the way uh then pep guardiola took him to an fa cup Carabao cup and the europa conference league he did end up getting sacked though which is interesting um then gabriel milano got brought in didn't do anything, was only there for a year or so. Uh, then Marco Rose, again, didn't really do too much. Mark Noble was caretaker manager, interesting. And then Marcelino came in and he's not done too much. So, I mean, they sacked Pep Guardiola and he was the one to bring them the most success. Uh, they have reached second in the table, but otherwise very, very limited uh, performances. But there you go. Um, let me know what you think and how you think each team did. Who do you think did better? Obviously, in the last season, Amazon Prime did win the Premier League, but Tesla Motors have certainly won more trophies. Uh, that being 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 trophies to, I believe, Amazon Prime 7. I think that's right. 3, 6, 7. Yeah. So, yeah. 
what uh, is it the value of the trophy as well i mean amazon prime obviously won the premier league which could be deemed harder but tesla motors won a couple of cups fa cup carabao cup conference league so there's a few in there interesting let me know in the comments who you think did better was it was it the man from amazon um te crikey words was it the man from amazon jeff bezos or tesla motors um elon musk who won this little challenge between the two of them let me know in the comments like i say um and of course also leave a comment down below of any other experiments you want to see i'm more than happy to take a look at those uh it just might be taking me a little time to get those done but i'm happy as anything to get some ideas and of course also leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on those and anything else that will be coming out in the next few weeks and i'll make sure to catch you in the next one